We are right in the heart of barbecue season, but what's on your grill? could look a little different in the coming years. Meat products are rapidly losing popularity right across Canada as many people are switching their diets to vegetarian or vegan. Joining us from Quebec City for a look at why this is happening is Professor of Food Distribution at Dalhousie University, Sylvain Charlebois. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning. All right, estimates from Dalhousie University say Canada has about 2.3 million vegetarians, about 850,000 uh, vegans. That's not a high number when you compare it to our overall population. So is this cause for concern in the meat industry that more people are you know, switching to a more plant-based diet? I think so. Uh, when you look at uh, vegetarian numbers, uh, back in 2003, we had 900,000 vegetarians, or at least people considering themselves as vegetarians. Now with 2.4 million, that's the population of Montreal. And here's a disturbing fact for the meat industry. More than half of them are under the age of 35, which means that they'll become more influential in the economy, and likely they'll be raising children uh, the way that they're eating themselves. So that influence is going to be, become more palpable moving forward. What does the research show us in terms of why people are moving away from meat? There's, uh, actually, there are four distinctive reasons. One is the environment. Uh, more and more science is suggesting that the carbon footprint of the livestock industry is significant. There is a huge portion of greenhouse gases that is generated by the livestock industry. The second one is animal welfare. A lot of people haven't grown on a farm. They've never been on a farm, but they do see nasty videos of people brutalizing animals, and that's affecting them as consumers. Third one is health. Uh, I'm not sure, Anne-Marie, but I can't remember the last time I read a study suggesting that we should eat more meat. Uh, Plant-based dieting seems to be in, uh, or at least the evidence, scientific evidence, is pretty strong, encouraging people to eat more, uh, more uh, vegetable, vegetable proteins. And second, and lastly, is price. Uh, vegetable proteins are, in fact, cheaper. Uh, the last five years, we've seen meat prices go up significantly, particularly beef. When you look at this globally, Canada right now is ranked ninth in terms of meat consumption, 10th for meat production. So looking at it purely from uh, an economy standpoint, this could really do a hit to one of our major industries, which is livestock and agriculture in this country. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it, it, is, it is certainly uh, a source of concern for the industry. Uh, essentially, and I've been meeting a lot of cattle producers around the country, in Alberta, elsewhere, and uh, frankly, I'm not, in, I'm not entirely sure the ministry appreciate what's happening. They're trying to find, figure out different ways, but as soon as you see major chains offering ve vegetarian solutions to consumers, burger chains, uh, that's a concern. Uh, my, my, my suggestion to the meat industry is to befriend the enemy and not just saying, well, vegetable proteins aren't necessarily good for you. Embrace um, mixtures. Embrace uh, the coexistence of other sources of protein. That would be one way to do it. Uh, I, I'd like to make the comparison to the car industry. For a long time, we thought gas was the only way to do it. Uh, you know, the fringe groups were using electric cars. Those are now becoming the norm. Major automakers are now making electric cars. Do you see a parallel with the meat industry? Oh, absolutely. Instead of just saying other commodities aren't good, perhaps we could suggest to Canadians, well, if you prepare a meatloaf at home, mix it with uh, lentils and beef, for example. So you basically offer Canadians a healthy solution and it will cost less to them. Those are the kinds of things that I think the meat industry should start doing instead of just losing market share to uh, lentils, chickpeas, other sources of protein. So then good to talk to you this morning. Thanks for joining us. All right, take care.